Hello. It's me you're looking for. <laughs> Hi, good morning. How are you? I'm a little bit mashed up. I've just finished my, my training. And he worked me very hard today. I'm a little bit stiff and sore. I have a lat injury from work that is um, that I'm working on. So, so I hope you get up and do something good for yourself today. We do have the moon in Leo still. So it's a lovely, lovely moon. But we have a few tense aspects for today. So... In the words I wrote, a great leader knows that there is a time to advance and a time to retreat and gather ourselves. So with these squares today, there could be, hang on, let me just do that thing where I've got to do the thing to see whether there's people coming. No, but that's okay. I'm just going to keep talking. <laughs> All right. So now with the squares today, there could be tension but if you have been working on things anyway, it could be one of those level up, step up type of experiences as well. So we've got the moon in Leo square the sun in Taurus. All right. So there's a little bit of a stubbornness. All right. There's that fixed energy of the sun in the fixed earth energy. Um, and good morning, Heather. How are you? Look, it's just me and you again, girl. <laughs> so um i was just saying that oh good morning amy how are you um all right i was just saying that there's a few squares around today all right so there could be some tension but if you've been working on some stuff anyway then it could be that opportunity to step up or step above level up from the experience that you're having so we've got the moon square the sun, Venus and Uranus, all right? And there is also a trine to Chiron. So there could be some sensitivities around. And I'm just going to say it, like I'm feeling, uh, my body is feeling sensitive today because I was just saying that I've got a little injury. So that trine to Chiron could be something like that. It doesn't, I, like even though there's squares, all right, and it is in, it's in an emotional tension, and it's to Venus, so there could be a bit of tension in your love life, uh, you know, or that square to Uranus. It could be because things are changing that people are getting a little bit resistant to change. All right, you know that things are changing, um, so um, so just be aware that you know if you're seeing people getting a little bit then it could just be all these squares. All right, so, so and like I said, that trying to Chiron, it could be people are emotionally sensitive or like myself, I'm actually having a physically sensitive day. So, so, so a great leader knows that when it's time to advance and time to retreat and gather ourselves, assess how you feel today and act accordingly. It's okay to change what choices that you have made and it's fine to take a minute before you start again. Hi, Sean. How are you? So nice to see you. Uh, so, yeah. So just assess your day very well because, you know, tension and sensitivity. Um, or are you just breaking through a boundary that you've had? Remember, we've got that Mercury coming up to square Pluto. All right. So tomorrow morning when Mercury drops into Taurus, all right, so that was like 3 a.m., that, that's when that definitive, I'm sure of my worth, and you, um, no, this is a boundary that I'm going to, I'm going to take, okay, so I've been, good morning, Ange, Ange, how are you? I've been using that sort of, you know, as this square to Mercury, Mercury Pluto grows, and Mercury has just been off its head and busy and it's probably exhausted right now. And all it wants to do is sit on the lounge as soon as it gets into Taurus. All right. So this tension could also just be because we're exhausted. Hence, assess how you feel and it's okay to change your mind if you need to. All right. Gather yourself or, yeah, I'm okay. I can move ahead. So, um, yeah, so that's square to Mercury. Good morning, Auntie Pat. How are you? You know, that's that self-assessment, no, 
here's my boundary. I'm sorry, I can't go do all the things that Pluto in Aquarius wants us to go and transform society and be social justice warriors. And Mercury's like, I'm fucking exhausted. Just leave me alone. You know, so we had that when Venus moved into Taurus out of Aries and she was able to calm down on the adrenals and go, oh, okay, I did a really good job. I know my worth. And, you know, she's now coming up to Uranus on Saturday. So, you know, she's in a very, very, um, a very, oh, the word malleable came through just then. And I suppose she is malleable because it is Earth. You know, she is creating and changing something. So, you know, that dynamic of Uranus changeability, that, that works. Venus is quite malleable right now. She's creating a different future. She knows her worth. All right. So, so as you can see, there's quite a few things happening. And, I, so, you know, I'm saying Venus conjunct Uranus. Well, she's also coming up to conjunct Jupiter as well. And she's ruling those two planets. So, you know, there's a whole lot of awareness and change and boundaries and, you know, so I, so I like this. Just keep with the self-assessments today. I've been shuffling these cards since before I even got on. So hang on a minute. I'm going to pull this one, this one right here. Oh, <laughs> Susan says, we've got Kookaburra and Susan says, Cosmic Q. Wait for your cue from the universe. Stay focused on your goal. Kookaburra knows when it's the right time to act. Oh my God, Susan. Absolutely perfect. Good morning, Paulette. How are you? And I just, just, um, Paulette, I've just pulled this card, Susan's card. Now the words for today is a great leader knows when it's time to move forward and when it's time to retreat. All right. And so Susan concurs with Kookaburra knows when it's the right time to act. So, you know, those squares that are creating tension, so the moon, square, sun, Venus, Uranus, you know, they're, they're the things that are, are like, yeah, um, but that trine to Chiron is going to show you where your sensitive points are. It's a trine. So that's that's a helpful aspect. So, so yeah, just continue up with the self-assessment and um, act accordingly, you know, Mars is being a little bit pushy there, but even, even, even the Mars coming up to conjunct Hygieia, mental health and wellness, and that North Node, the path forward, you know, that, that trajectory that we see ourselves moving down, Mars is like, come on, come on, come on, I want to get there, are we there yet, are we there yet, um, Venus is like, calm down, Mercury is exhausted, so there's a whole lot of pushy, pulley, tooey, froey, so remember boundaries and assessment, especially when you need it. So that's me, guys. I am mashed after my workout. Even that, you know, what are you going to do for yourself today, ladies? Excellent. Excellent, Paulette. So, and in saying that, what, good morning, Sally. What beautiful self-care thing are you going to do for yourself today? All right. So, you know, my self-care today was doing a workout. Um, I need to recover from that workout. <laughs> and yeah, you know, is it like, what's your thing, Paulette? You know, is it, is it a cuppa on the lounge at a, at a specific time? Is it a foot bath? Is it getting your nails done? Is it, oh my God, I don't know what it is. Is it, you know, is it having your space clean and clear? You know, I'm still working on my house. I got busy yesterday and did two readings. So I've got a reading at 9.30 today, guys. So I do have a spot available probably around 11 or 12 if anybody wants um, a reading today. Oh, look at that. Been out forest bike riding. Oh, that's amazing, Sean. And Paulette's going to catch up with a friend. That's beautiful. That The belonging and that companionship. So I love that. Make your heart happy. All right, so that's me, guys. I'm going to go and make myself some breakfast before my 9.30 reading. You skipped gym this morning because it was, oh, you woke up with a cold. All right, well, lots of vitamin C, Amy. And you know what? Like, this, like the word said, you know, assess how you feel today and act accordingly. It is totally fine for you to, without guilt, look at yourself and go, my body needs to rest. Like, that's what my body needs to do. So if you're up for it tonight and you want to go for a walk with Jamie, then awesome. 
But if you're still not feeling it, I give you permission to rest. So, so yes, guys, have a fabulous day.